I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. I don't think I need this kind of souvenir. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? The city has always held more allure at the expense of the small villages, and Bone Town is no exception. All the young people left when they had the chance, leaving the town in its current sorry state. It seems you know our town well, although you're so young. Can I ask your name? Of course. I'm Willie Morgan. I'm Margaret. Margaret Teach. But for those who attend the library, I'm just Margaret. Once there was a Morgan here in Bone Town too. Then he left, seeking fortune, and he became famous. But he never stopped coming back to visit Bone Town. I don't think you know him. You mean Henry Morgan by any chance? You surprise me, and that doesn't happen often. The point is, I know him very well. Henry was my father. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while. Ten years ago, right? Do you know what he was working on in his final research? I don't know. He always read a lot, basically all the tomes you can find in here. And sometimes, at his request, I had to order books from other cities as well. How do you know that? Kid, I'm the librarian. I basically remember everything that is put on paper. And Henry used to come to our library a lot. Do you know anything about his disappearance? Unfortunately, only what I've read about. One night he was here in Bone Town. The morning after, it's like he vanished into thin air. Not a clue, not a trace. No letters or anything that could have guided the search parties to a solution. Do you know if he had enemies, maybe? Henry? Let's be serious. I think there were very few men as affable as him. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. If I can be of any more help, just ask. I need to consult one of your tomes. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Not Very Famous Pirate Songs by Threepwood. Unfortunately, that's one of the most requested books. There's even a waiting list to consult it. Properties of Concrete. Oh, what a surprise! It's not among the more popular in Bone Town. I guess this is the second consultation in more than ten years. Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't read a lot, especially a book like that. I could never have managed to face it either. Where can I find it? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. You should recognize it easily. Thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm, this lock is peculiar to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. I don't need them.
I don't know how, but I hope it might come in handy. I don't see how the complete menu of the One-Eyed Jack would help me. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. Let's try. It worked! Check out what we have here. Let's see what it is. It's another letter from my father. It's dated July 22nd, 2008, earlier than the other one. There's also a piece of paper that seems more ancient, but I can't figure out what it is. Better take a look right now. If dad did all this so that I'd find it, there must be something important. Now I understand what the piece of paper was that I found with the letter. Dad always performed great feats, but I never imagined he was looking for Kit's treasure. It has always been said that it was basically a legend. I don't remember the complete story exactly, but maybe the librarian can help me. And I have a list of names. Better start asking information of the townsfolk without attracting too much attention. I don't need my father's old library card anymore. Even if someone found it, it would be useless. I have the letter and the piece of map belonging to my dad. Can you repeat what you know about my father? Henry had a natural gift with people, achieved success, loved reading, and he didn't have any enemies, at least here in Bone Town. Besides the fact that he disappeared 10 years ago, I wouldn't know what else to say. Am I wrong or did you tell me your name is Margaret Teach? That's correct. Do you know a man named Charles Teach? Your question surprises me. How do you know my great-great-grandfather? I'm doing some research on the genealogy of Bone Town, and I stumbled upon the Teach family. Yes, it's been several generations now since the Teaches settled in Bone Town. What can you tell me about Charles Teach in particular? He was the one who brought the name Teach here to Bone Town, but of his past, little is known. My great grandma told me that he was a former fisherman with a knack for books. This library is a donation he made to the city of Bone Town just before he died. After he arrived here in Bone Town, he devoted himself exclusively to reading, and many of these books were bought directly by him. He had so many of them that he basically founded the town library, which then became the family business for the following generations, too. And he didn't leave anything else apart from the books? All he left is stored on the upper floor, but it's mostly junk. The real treasure was his books. There's also an old crate without a key, but it looks empty. Do you by any chance know the story of Captain William Kidd? Sure, it is mostly a legend. In the golden era of piracy, Kidd stood out for his endeavors, if you could call them that. The endeavors of a pirate aren't exactly heroic most of the time. Anyway, his ship, the Adventure Galley, was supposedly filled with treasures when it suddenly disappeared. A few years later, in 1701, Kidd was captured and executed, but his ship and the crew were never found. What do you think happened? What always happened at that time? Kid and his crew squandered all the loot, and to cover their tracks, they sold or even burned the ship. After this story, Kid became legendary. Thank you. Thanks, and goodbye.
Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Ms. Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Very strange. I have the feeling I'm being watched. Better be careful. You never know what can happen in Bone Town. 